Hello, friends, and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Brick Roll. All right, this is a microwave that's in my apartment. Uh, yeah, you know me always like an interesting uh, camera angle. I thought this would be interesting. Well, this microwave was brand new when they installed it here, but for some reason, they never installed the light bulb underneath the uh, underneath the, for the for the hood range. So. I have I have a choice. I just I've been, this has been something I've been thinking about doing for a while, uh, and I finally decided today to look it up, figure out what kind of bulb it is, and I could either go to GE and spend a whole bunch of money and wait four weeks for the thing to be delivered, but it seems to me it's just a normal halogen bulb. So I think what I'm going to do I should be able to find something comparable at Home Depot. So I'm just going to run over to Home Depot and get this bulb. 130 volts, maximum 50 watts with a 3 8 inch uh, lead distance. That should be easy to find that at Home Depot. Because that's not how it's done. Because Home Depot is like my favorite place in the world. It's a toy store for adults. Yep, I think that's the one. Now, this one's actually only 120 volts, and this, they call for 130 volts, but there's not 130 volts going through that microwave. That's just providing a little headroom there. 120 volt at 50 watt is gonna be fine, because there's only gonna be 110 volts going into that thing. Key factor here is the distance between the two metal leads at the bottom. It was supposed to be 3 eighths of an inch as I measured at home. I went and borrowed a tape measure out of the hardware department. That's what this is, so we're good to go. Let's see, $8 for a halogen bulb, or eight and a half dollars for a nutcracker. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Uh oh, sounds like they're getting a little panic that it's getting close to Christmas and they gotta dump all this stuff before they have to put it back into storage. Now you just know that the microwave included one of these bulbs with it and someone just forgot to install it. Yeah, you know, whatever. You plug it in, all the lights come on, no need to test it. We did everything right, right? So yeah, I'm sure what happened is they just threw the bulb out with the packaging. That's just another case of they don't care. So all there is to it is just to plug the ball bulb into the socket here. It's in, that's all there is to that. And now let's test see if it works. Hey, all right, we got light. Nice. So let's put the cover back on and we are done. Yep, that's all there is to that. Ooh, it even has two different levels. Impressive. Now I can see what I'm cooking. It even turns out I saved a little money. I paid about eight bucks for it. It would have been almost nine bucks if I bought it online. I would have waited four weeks to get it. All right, so I know that was a bit of a simple video. Uh, it's something I've been meaning to do for a while, and I said, you know what, let's just do it. So anyway, uh, it's Thursday for me, So, but by the time you see this, it's gonna be Sunday. And on Sunday morning, I am flying back to California for the holidays to be with my parents. I think what I wanna do, um, there are a couple of neighborhoods near where I used to live that go absolutely crazy on the Christmas lights. It's like that place I did about a week ago, but like times times a thousand. And so I think I want to go do a, uh, a Christmas video showing some of the decorations there. Um, I also want to visit my friends Bill and Kay. Um, when I was there back in uh, around Thanksgiving and visited them for the Christmas party then, they were talking about the possibility of starting their own vlog. And I want to kind of give them a little kick in the shorts to get them going on that. My friend Bill and my friends Bill and Kay have been uh, musicians for as long as I've known them, but they're kind of getting to a stage in their life where they're not really interested in, in performing live at venues anymore. And I think they're looking at the possibility of doing a music vlog and getting their music out that way. And I think they were a little bit inspired by what I was doing. So I think I'm going to go visit them at some point and maybe show them how easy it would be to get their channel going and get a couple videos posted and just show them how easy it would be to do that. So um, that's I think what I'm going to do and I don't know we'll figure out something else. I may get a chance to go see Jordan and Jaw uh, but you know I'll, I'll just kind of wing it and we'll go we'll play it by ear 
My mom has already told me that she's going to let me make uh, uh, her lasagna for Christmas because she watched my uh, lasagna video and really liked what I did with it. So uh, probably going to end up making my lasagna, making her lasagna for Christmas for her. And we'll, you know, just enjoy that. So we, that's kind of our family tradition. We have lasagna for Christmas. So, you know, it kind of moves around. Sometimes it's lasagna. There was a few years we had burritos for Christmas. And, you know, we just kind of do what we do. But uh, I'll probably end up doing lasagna this time. And that's what we'll have for Christmas Eve dinner and probably Christmas Day dinner. So anyway, um, I would like to take this opportunity to thank my latest Patreon, Tony Miller. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. And as for the rest of you, thank you as always for watching. And I will see you next time on Skipping the Mouse. Good night.